Hello everybody and welcome to EA Sports UFC World. Uh, you haven't heard from me in a while, so I decided to give you guys a heads up on something not exactly new, but something that might actually interest you regarding the game itself. I'm going to talk about the submission system. Um, there is a lot of talk about the submissions uh, in the game and submissions in the previous UFC Undisputed series. So it's really it's really interesting to see how will those work, you know. Anyway, EA Sports uh, put an amazing amount of time, so they say, and work into making sure that we actually uh, virtually feel on the complex and complexity and difficulty of submission game uh, when a person you, person you are rolling with is actually fighting back. So that's the the point here in their submission game development. The main idea is is that a great deal of ground game in real life is about feeling your opponent in terms of feeling his weight, feeling his uh, center of gravity and so on and so on but in a video game they could only give the user only visual information you know you don't have the feel of it so they are stuck with the visual information and they will try to make the best out of it uh, the submission system involves an on-screen on-screen minigame which you all knew probably which is based on two core principles and uh, with this I'm just going to quote Brian Hayes Brian Hayes is the EA Sports UFC creative di director so I do, I'm stay, I stay precise as possible you know that's why I'm quoting him to be precise as possible one the person you're trying to submit is rarely interested in letting you make progress towards your goal of making them tap in real jujitsu they're looking to move in a way that will alleviate pressure and make it possible to escape in our game they have the ability to try and escape by pushing the right stick up down left or right you'll able to see uh, where they are trying to escape and how close they are to escaping. You can push your right stick in the same direction to lock them down, but they can instantly move in another direction. Okay, everything is clear here. I don't have to explain it. Uh, he explained it perfectly. We'll just have to wait and see how will this effectively work, you know? The second core principle is there is an element of timing to sinking a submission in deeper. You have to be ready to react when the opening presents itself. Whether it's sliding a forearm under your opponent's chin or tucking your foot behind your knee in a triangle. This comes in the form of an on-screen prompt to flick your left stick up, down, left or right. Every submission has multiple moves that must be executed before it's locked in 100% and each time you, advanced, you advance a move the defender goes back to square one trying to escape. I think, I think it's, it's really, really easy to understand what they are going to with this and uh, he explained it uh, really really good so I don't have to really uh, and I'm not willing to make any kind of prediction just yet uh, at the first glance it seemed too simple for me but when I try to think about it I it could actually work perfectly you know it could be easy for people to get into it and not avoid the ground game which many of people did in the UFC Undisputed especially casual gamers but then again, uh, it could be very hard to master if you want your game plan to consist mainly of submission holds. So, yeah, I will see, definitely. Uh, and now, uh, after the submission, that that's all uh, regarding the submission system for now. Now, uh, a little bit on the latest gameplay video EA released, you know, the one where they uh, revealed Bruce Lee as an in-game character. First... I no what I noticed was the arenas. The arenas look crowded with actual audience and fans of MMA, not just creepy by bystanders, you know, uh, like it happens in many, many sports games. They're cheering, uh, they're throwing their arms in the air and they feel like living, breathing people, you know, each and every one of them from what I've seen. I hope that's not just cosmetics in the for the video, I think this will be actually done in the game as well, because that is actual gaming footage, what they showed. Fighter models models look outstanding. I won't waste words on something uh, nearly perfect, you know, because they did the job awesome, really awesome. What impressed me the most is boxing, especially striking, but uh, the boxing aspect of striking. You do have a sense of feel of fight night mechanics behind the boxing aspect, and you can punch the shit out of your opponent while he's already in a knockdown state falling to the canvas. 
that's that's absolutely amazing that's everything i ever wanted in a game such as this you know when he is knocked out or knock, knocked down he is falling you can catch him with a couple of punches of your own and yeah that's that's extremely satisfying you know for for bloodthirsty people like me i'm just joking i'm not bloodthirsty it, it's it's actually pretty amazing I also like the takedown animations, especially the judo toss by Ronda Rousey performed in the video, as well as the facial facial expressions on any fighter. You know, you see when they struggle and stuff like that. That's that's really top notch. That's really next gen things. Uh, and the last thing I noticed are the taunts. You can easily see Anderson Silva taunting his opponent, which isn't much by itself, uh, but. It actually doesn't look generic like in the UFC Undisputed series. This is the trademark taunt of Anderson Silva, you know. And I hope it will be, it will, uh, every fighter will have its own taunt and significant punches, uh, signature punches, sorry, that they throw in real life. And you can see in the video that that's that's the case for real. John Jones and stuff like that, GSP, they all have the significant uh, signature punches they're throwing in real life so anyway guys i just wanted to get back to you for i didn't do it for quite a while and i want to keep you in the loop with everything so thanks for uh, staying tuned with my channel anyway we'll stay in touch until the the game is actually released so cheers